Hello everybody, it is March 21st, 2021, and I'm out on Allen Lake today with another motor. Uh, this one is my 1984 Evinrude 6 horse. I purchased this motor from my buddy Dave Kimbler uh, last July at Constantine. Um, he had purchased it from a uh, marina. They were, uh, they were selling some stuff out. Uh, I think it was... Uh, I think it was the owner's collection uh, or something like that. Um, I don't remember all the details from Dave, but at any rate, uh, I bought it from him. Uh, he, he, neither one of us knew the condition of it at the time. Uh, I tried to fire it up when I got home, and it started right off. Uh, it sounded good, but it wouldn't pump water, um, and it wouldn't go into gear. So... What I ended up doing was pulling the power head off of it, and what I found there was that the splines in the end of the crankshaft were gone. Most of the spline was left on the on the drive shaft still, but the crankshaft splines were gone. So, what this one got, uh, I did replace the impeller. I replaced the fuel hoses. There was a leak at the telltale elbow. I fixed that. And I put some uh, new plugs in it. Uh, it could use some more cleanup under the hood. I did clean up a little bit since I had the power head off. Um, but to fix that, the biggest problem, of course, was that crankshaft spline. And to fix that, I ended up doing some, some creative uh, repairs on that. I machined a piece that would fit into the the bore that was left in the end of the crankshaft and put a 3 8 square on that and adapted a, an old Craftsman uh, 6.38 drive 3 8 socket onto the end of that piece that I machined to go into the end of the crank. I uh, machined the end of the drive shaft to a hex. Of course the extra length, the spline, the old spline got cut off. Uh, machined it to a hex to fit into the 3 8 socket and put an o-ring groove at the end to keep the water and stuff out to keep the grease in so now we have a hex drive instead of a spline drive off the power head um, everything else was pretty good and it seems to run well I've, I had it on the pond last fall just for a proof test and now I've got it out on the water to see how it runs and it seems to be doing pretty well so Let's crank it up and take it for a run across the lake and see how it does. This is a 50 to 1 motor, and I am running this on 50 to 1. Uh, it is Benzoil Synthetic Oil and 90 octane ethanol free recreational gasoline. Uh, last time I ran this, the uh, tilt latch handle was broken, so I've replaced that. And as you can see, the water pump's doing a good job. I did have to clean out that hose for the telltale. It did have some crud in it. It would periodically stop flowing. Uh, it never stopped cooling, but the, the telltale would stop flowing. So, all right, here we go. Back into forward. 
All right, seems to be a happy little motor again. 14 miles an hour out of a six horse. I'll take that. Till next time, thanks for watching. Keep your prop out of the mud.